Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. So let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here today for my Geminis, please? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Geminis, please. Okay, loves, so we're going to do a you versus them. You place yourself where it resonates, okay? We have the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. We have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Sun, Leo Energy, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, Gemini, so for whoever's on this side, we have someone here that was either ghosted or someone was left out in the cold. Somebody here is just not getting any attention and it hurts. Okay, it really, really hurts. Um, someone here is up at night, anxiety, nightmares, stressed out. Um, I feel like someone here has chosen to pursue a third party. Someone here has chosen someone else. And someone here is starting to realize that. Okay, so maybe you and your person have had a period of stagnation where maybe you're not talking or maybe you broke up and maybe you had hoped that it would come back together again or whoever on, is on this side felt that way. Okay, Um <clears throat> And someone now is starting to realize that somebody is dating someone else or that they've chosen another person. And, you know, it's overwhelming. This this realization hurts. Okay, it hurts. Um, oh, 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 yeah. Three of Cups wanted to pop out here. And the Page of Wands. So someone here may be getting news that there's a third party or that someone is dating someone else. Nine of Swords. And the Two of Swords. Yes, yeah, someone is stressed out that they weren't chosen or that they're being cut out. Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. The Chariot and the Magician. Virgo Gemini Energy. Someone has chosen to work on a connection with the third party. And with the Ten of Pentacles, someone is pursuing high levels of commitment with this third party energy. The Sun card and the Seven of Wands. Someone's realizing that they're being pushed away. And with the Ten of Wands and the Hierophant Taurus Energy, um, it's hard because someone here is still stuck on the fact that, you know, they wanted to marry or they wanted to be with this person. Someone is still committed in a way, loyal, like someone's heart is still loyal to this. Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Tower. Someone here is, is just heartbroken. They're still very much infatuated, stuck on this. It's like someone's whole world is falling apart here. Someone still had, um, like, you know, when you're not in a relationship, but in a way you're still committed to it because your heart is still with that person, you know, and that's where this person is. So Gemini, I don't know if that's you or, you know, a person you've left behind. I don't know. So let's see here. So here we've got the Wheel of Fortune. We've got the uh, Eight of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy. We have the Five of Swords. We have the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So we've got the King to the Queen of Wands on the board that is a true pair. And it looks like this is, you know, that this person has met their match. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Pentacles, someone here is working on a connection that has been divinely guided. It is a divinely guided soul tie. Um, I feel that with the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Swords, I feel like someone here is... Um, slowly but surely um you know working on this connection they may have played some mind games with this person here um you know it seems like someone had two options okay and they had to choose you know and they had to choose so someone here may have taken their time in making a decision and I only say that because with the Five of Swords, um, it seems like someone here had to give up on one situation or someone here was maybe playing some mind games. And with the King of Wands and the King of Cups, someone had to decide if they wanted to be in one situation or another situation. And I feel that, you know, they chose. They chose the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you see, they chose the Queen of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Energy, you see that Queen of Wands right here too. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, the, uh, the Empress the Four of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, someone took their sweet time in making this choice or this decision, but 
Someone has chosen the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands. Someone sees this person as Empress. No wonder why this person is doing so bad, because not only have they been left behind, but it would appear that someone is moving on with a third party and that they're like living happily ever after. The King of Wands and the World, the King of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so someone here has shut out a cycle and they're moving forward with passion, with love. Um... Yeah, uh, you know, someone here has just moved on. Someone, you know, plain and simple. So the challenge here under the deck, we've got the Four of Cups. We have the Three of Cups. And we have the Fool. The challenge here is that someone is being rejected. An offer is being rejected uh, due to a third party. Someone here has just left the building with that Fool card. Someone here has started a new beginning elsewhere. Um, the outcome with the two of wands, the five of wands, and the eight of cups. The outcome here is that someone is heartbroken. Three of swords with the eight of cups. Someone is jealous, hurting, upset. Um, someone, a, a decision has been made, and I feel that someone is just very hurt. Someone is really hurt that um, their person has walked away. Yeah. Someone here is very jealous, upset angry that their person has walked away you see here we've got the eight of cups and the three of swords someone's very upset someone's hurting oh my gosh if it's you gemini i'm sending you hugs and kisses because this sucks <sighs> family friends and guides back and forth and decrease so I feel here, guys, that, you know, you maybe uh, have remained friends with this person and this person was back and forth and that's ending also. It could also be that family and friends got involved um, trying to pull your person away to get them to stay with this Queen of Wands. That may be it too. But more than anything, I kind of feel like there was a situation here where you remained friends with this person. So there were open lines of communication. So that is kind of like what gave somebody hope. And now, you know, it's just ended completely like even that is gone too we've got woman holding a heart oh three came out okay um adjacent possibilities and six chakra yeah someone here is still in love and i feel like their intuition is telling them that this person has chosen another option okay we've got children your love life is being affected by children and we've got honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together someone here has moved on to have a new beginning elsewhere Plain and simple. Someone here has moved on. Someone has left the building. And someone is in a lot of pain because of it. Okay? I love you guys. Bye.